Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Simply Scripture. Um, today, I'm going to be reading from the New King James Translation. And in this video, I'm going to be reading the book of Proverbs, chapter 7. Um, this will be a great, uh, great video to listen to, to read along with on the seventh day of each month. Um, it's just a good, good add-on to, to your devotion. Um, a, lot of, a lot of wisdom in here. Before I, before I get started, let me say a little prayer. Um, Dear Lord, I come to you just thanking you for all that you do. Lord, please guide me through your word. Help me to read and speak clearly. And Lord, I just pray that you open the ears of anyone that may be listening or reading along. Lord, open their hearts. Lord, I just pray that you fill this country with your Holy Spirit. Help us to be a more godly people. Please give us wisdom through this chapter. And we love you. And thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Alrighty. Proverbs chapter 7. My son, keep my words and treasure my commands within you. Keep my commands and live, and my law as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, You are my sister. And call understanding your nearest kin, that they may keep you from the immoral woman, from the seductress who flatters with her words. For at the window of my house I looked through my lattice and, and saw among the simple. I perceived among the youths a young man devoid of understanding, passing along the street near her corner, and he took the path, path to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And there a woman met him with the attire of a harlot and a crafty heart. She was loud and rebellious. Her feet would not stay at home. At times she was outside, at times in the open square, lurking at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him. With an impudent face, she said to him, I have peace offerings with me. Today I have paid my vows. So I came out to meet you diligently to seek your face, and I have found you. I have spread my bed with tapestry, co colored coverings of Egyptian linen. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come. Let us take our fill of love until morning. Let us delight ourselves with love, for my husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him and will come home on the appointed day. With her enticing speech, she caused him to yield. With her flattering lips, she seduced him. Immediately he went in after, he went after her as an ox goes to the slaughter or as a fool to the correction of the stocks till an arrow struck his liver as a bird hastens to the snare he did not know it would cost his life now now therefore listen to me my children pay attention to the words of my mouth do not let your heart turn aside to her ways do not stray into her paths, for she has cast down many wounded, and all who were slain by her were strong men. Her house is the way to hell, descending to the chambers of death. <laughs> 